Can you explain Dalton's atomic theory? Sure thing. John Dalton, an English chemist, based his theory on two key laws. First, the law of conservation of matter, which states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed within a closed system. In a chemical reaction, the total amount of matter in the reactants always equals that in the products. Right, like in a combustor reaction. Even though the products look different, it's still the same amount of matter. Exactly. Second, the law of constant composition, which states that pure compounds are composed of elements in fixed ratios. For example, table salt, sodium chloride, always exists in fixed ratios of one sodium ion to one chlorine ion, no matter the size of the sample. From these laws, Dalton proposed five main points. Number one, matter is made of small indivisible particles called atoms. Number two, atoms of the same element are identical. Number three, atoms of different elements differ in mass and their respective properties. Number four, compounds like salt are combinations of whole number ratios. We can't have atoms. Number five, atoms are neither created nor destroyed during chemical reactions. Instead, they're rearranged while mass is conserved. So did Dalton just get everything right? Not quite. We now know that atoms can be subdivided into protons, neutrons, and electrons. Additionally, atoms of the same element can differ in mass. We call these isotopes. Even though parts of Dalton's model were later revised, his work was monumentally important in advancing atomic theory.